Hey everyone. One of the top questions I hear from investors is, when will it be time to start buying properties? Many investors are waiting for a big distressed asset sell-off. The amount of dry powder waiting on the sidelines is enormous and estimates place the total amount of capital in commercial real estate opportunity funds in the $300 billion range. And that doesn't even include the private investor capital, which is also significant. That implies the great deals everyone's waiting for could get bid up if a wave of distress even comes. So what's the current distress level? In May, about 7.2% of CMBS debt was at least 30 days late on its payments. That's up significantly from April when it was around 2.3% and the number will likely climb further in June. Most of the delinquency thus far is concentrated in the lodging sector. A little more than 19% of CMBS lodging loans were 30 days or more late, and the retail sector had about 10% of the loans more than 30 days late. But CMBS only represents about 14% of the total debt outstanding, and CMBS servicers have been the least lenient lender in terms of working out forbearance with borrowers. So it's doubtful the market as a whole is near that 7% delinquency rate. The key factor to watch is rent collections. Hotels and retail have faced the most significant challenges in this area with hotel occupancy rates in the 37% range and retail rent collections averaging in the mid 60% range. Conversely, rent collections for apartments, office, industrial, and self-storage properties have been running over 90% since the onset of the pandemic. Granted, these are all averages and that means some individual assets have lower collection rates and those properties may face distress. But over the long term, collection rates in the stronger sectors could still falter. For example, apartments could potentially face a more significant impact on collections after the expanded unemployment benefits run out at the end of July. The big question mark will be how long the pandemic lasts and how long it takes for the economy to begin to recover. Much of the stimulus was designed as a short-term bandage to carry the economy for a few months. But if we can't get the economic engine started by the fourth quarter or another round of stimulus doesn't come into play by then, the risks of sector distress will rise. In general, the pool of distressed assets likely to come to market is pretty limited in most property types and it will be met by a wave of capital that will moderate the discounting. Prices will still be dictated by property income and cap rates are unlikely to jump, especially if interest rates remain low as the Federal Reserve has indicated. Ultimately, trying to time the market is very difficult, so most investors are likely best served by staying active and realistic. Acquisition decisions should be based on long-term strategies rather than trying to focus on distress. On the other side, property owners with weaker operations and who don't have deep pockets to carry through a potential rough patch may consider selling soon while the market is still relatively stable. Ultimately, investors need to take a long-term approach considering long-term supply and demand drivers and keeping their eyes on the horizon.